Examples of thin behavior? Yep. I'm going to say, I'm going to call it happy weight mentality behavior because people like that better. The word thin bugs people. So, but this is same idea. Okay. So when you wake up in the morning, you ask yourself, are you hungry? Or you wait for your body to get, go, Hey, I'm hungry. You don't automatically eat. Breakfast is not the most important meal of the day. That was created by a marketing scheme, not science. Okay. Then when you finally do get hungry and it's noon, let's say, or 11 or whatever it is, whenever it is for you. I mean, I tend to be hungry late in the day, but you may not be whatever it is for you. We're all different. And you say, gosh, you know, I just really am craving pizza. You eat pizza, even though it's weird and it's in the morning, because who cares? It's what your body's asking for. Or it's um, evening and you want um, scrambled eggs and avocado toast, but that's a breakfast food. You dismiss everything that gets interferes with what your body is asking for. And I had little kids when I was doing this too. Yeah, it's a little inconvenient at, at first because you gotta get into that rhythm of knowing kind of what your body usually likes to have on hand because you will notice patterns. And in, you know, at first, but think about whenever you do a diet, don't you put a lot of energy into getting the right foods and all that? Yeah, we'll put that energy into this. And by energy, again, I mean just being aware of what you're actually want and, and and that knowing what you're craving is not automatic because we shut that down when we're dieters we shut that down we don't want to have cravings because then if we have a craving and we and we acknowledge it we're not it's not going to be on the diet so we try to shut all that away and we shut away our hunger because we don't want to be hungry because we're on a diet and who knows if we're allowed to eat right now so we turn ourselves off intuitive eating and eating intuitively to lose weight is about turning yourself back on right and listening and it's beautiful and wonderful so more thin behavior is um at the you're at the restaurant and you you're just not hungry for the rest of it you bring it home or you you have a feeling that you need something but you don't know what it is we you get really good at saying is it thirst because thirst can make you really tired right is it fatigue or is it hunger? And what kind of hunger is it? Are you hungry for some crunchy salad? Are you hungry for a steak? Cause that's what you need or bread with butter. You, I know it's overwhelming when you're new with this. Cause you're like, ah, I'm not going to know that. Yeah. Yes, you will. And there's help out on our website for, to do this. But I'm telling you, if I can do this, I had a diet mentality. It was enormous. And, and you know, if you're a little type A, like I am, which a lot of people are who are dieters, you know, you get really, good at being bad diet or you really get good at ignoring your body i was very good at ignoring my body if i can get it back so can you and i'm here to show you how just as my little grandmother was the person i imitated i'm trying to be your little grandmother <laughs> honestly you can do this just one day at a time